What's up guys, my name is Cody. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now we're talking today about how to defend the gun spread in Madden 21, specifically two by two formation. So this can apply to any two by two formation. I'm gonna talk about what that actually means here in just a second. But if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. It's completely free to subscribe. My channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 through tips, through strategies. Every single day, we're giving you guys resources and tools that you can use and implement into your own game that I also use in my game. So uh, defensively here, we're giving you a little bit of a tip here out of our nickel 335 wide defensive ebook. Now, if you haven't gotten the 335 wide defense, I wanna encourage you to consider doing that. It's literally just 15 bucks. For just 15 bucks, you can get the best defense in Madden 21 right now, in my opinion. Nickel 335, we've been running it since June. It's been incredible so far this season. Now, I, I wanna share with you though, a little, bit of a, a little bit of a tip for how you can work against the spread out of the Ravens playbook. Now the Ravens, in my opinion, have the best, uh, uh, maybe not the best, but they are up there as far as spread. Now, if you guys don't know, I was actually running a lot of spread uh, earlier on in the season. And so I know a little bit about, you know, kind of gun spread and what you need to know. So we're gonna dive right into this. First and foremost, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you are running the 46 playbook. You're gonna to wanna to have these coaching adjustments. You're gonna have auto flip on, auto alignment set to default, ball and air defense to play ball, option defense on conservative, and we're gonna actually leave everything else on default because we're gonna be utilizing um, some match principles. So the play that we're going to be setting up here for the 335 wide is our R1 audible you see is gonna be the mic blitz three and our L1 audible is gonna be the cover four show two. And then the next most important thing that you can do is make sure you get your personnel right. And the reason why you wanna run the four six playbook is because you can audible down from the nickel 335 normal formation to the nickel 335 wide formation and what that's going to do is it's going to get you the ability to have the best personnel possible on the field at one time so we're going to be audibling down from this uh from this specific package down into the mic blitz three and we want to make sure that we don't have zone drops on now as you can see here what it does is it gives us these seam flat zones on both sides this is actually really really important for the way that we're going to want to play defense against a gun spread type of situation because effectively what we're going to do is we are going to play some match coverage okay so all we're going to do as far as adjustments goes is we're simply going to shift our defensive line to the side of the running back we're going to pass commit and then all we're going to do is we're going to put our line we're going to hit um right on the d-pad we're going to flick our right joystick up to zone all of our linebackers you see it's going to put them in hook curls that's actually very very important that you get hook curls it's why you don't want to manually hot route them you'll see here that if i just manually hot route the linebackers i cannot put them if you look at the left side of the screen here i cannot put them in a hook curl we want them in a hook curl because hook curls are going to match very well and then we're just going to blitz our user down again as you can see right here and what you're going to see is these seam flats again against specifically a two by two formation meaning two wide receivers on the right side two wide receivers on the left side is going to do an absolutely phenomenal job so i'm going to run kind of snap the ball here and, and basically just kind of show you what's going to happen with these but you'll see that these they do a, such a good job at taking care of some of the the basic things so we're going to dive into instant replay and kind of break down what you're seeing from this match coverage and what you need to know as far as what is your user responsibility so the reason that i like this so much is any running back quick route like a circle route an angle route a streak route a seam flat whatever it might be or i'm sorry a seam wheel these yellow zones are going to do a phenomenal job of taking them away as you can see right here they do a really really good job now on this right side the one thing that is actually going for the offense is as you can see here this seam flat zone is going to match up the seam with uh with 85 here as you can see that seam flat is matching all the way up the seam and on this right side here um unfortunately you see here he doesn't squat on an out route or anything he's just going to kind of stay back off and then what that's going to do is it's going to leave this crossing route as you can see right here wide open now the way that you solve that problem is by a couple of more adjustments that we're going to break down right now so again we're going to audible down to mike blitz three we're gonna globally zone both of our line, our, all of our linebackers, and then we just need to make sure that we're manually re-blitzing our user because we always want to have three down line, three people blitzing on every play. It's gonna help a lot with run defense. 
So we're gonna shift them here and we've got our coverage set up. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna keep that inside third over the middle of the field, but we're actually gonna put outside quarters on both of our outside receivers. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna change how this defense is gonna play. You're gonna see you're gonna get a lot better match coverage and you're gonna be able to take care of a lot more uh, as far as what they're trying to accomplish. When you put these adjustments out here, another way that you could actually do this as well is let's say you audible down to Mike Blitz 3. As you can see here, we audible down, right? Everything everything is what it is. And what we're gonna do this time is we're going to, um, you know, obviously zone our linebackers. We're gonna still zone, three rec hook that one guy. As you can see right here, this is kind of what we're looking at now. But the next thing that we can do is we can also create kind of a cover six look. So as you'll see right here, this is a cover six in essence. The only thing that we have to worry about because of these seam flats, we don't have to worry about the vertical routes because the vertical routes are gonna get matched up the seam. All we have to worry about is this middle of the field. As you can see here, they match onto that crossing route like I mean, they just stick to it like glue. This is a very simple tactic that you can use that absolutely will take a lot of what people like to do from this um, this little formation here, the, the, the uh, shotgun formation here spread. It's going to actually work relatively well. This kind of base coverage here, and then from that point, you can do whatever you wanna do. If you wanna match, if you wanna you know cross man people with the linebackers, for example, you could do something like this. You could cross man the inside guys if you're worried about them running on post routes or something like that another but what i like to do most i just like to i think hook curls are super underrated and so you'll see here i'm going to use a hook curl you don't even have to have a three rec on the field but let me show you um let me show you that play circle again same thing as you watch here this watch these hook curls see how they see how they kind of glitchy see how they play really nice over the middle there the hook curls are better than vert hooks if you want to be able to stop some of the like slants and things like that now the one thing that I do want to hit on briefly is what do you do if they go trips? So, for example, let's say that they um, let's say let's say that they go to this formation right here. This is what's considered three by one. So three wide receivers on one side of the field and, and, and one receiver on the other side of the field. In that situation, we're going to go into this cover four show two and we're gonna flip it to get it to the trip side of the field. As you can see right here, this is what we're looking at. And so now we're basically playing just essentially quarters coverage, right? So we're gonna um, you know, kind of run this as a three by one quarters, as you can see right here. Now everything's taken care of. And no matter what they do, we're able to take pretty much everything that they wanna do. Um, obviously they have a, a little in route to the running back, but that's what I'm talking about, about that audibling. So you might be saying, well, what happens if they're in three by or two by two? and they motion into a three by one. Okay, so let me show you what that's gonna look like here. So just kind of set up the play. And now I'm gonna motion Lazard. Now this turns this into a three by one. As you see right here, it kind of changes everything for your zone sake. But as you can see, this is kind of what you're looking at, right? This is, this is kind of what we're looking at. So when you look at this, the motion does change things as far as how you're gonna defend this. And take a look at how much different it, it will make the defense play a lot differently. So whenever you see somebody, whenever you see somebody motion or move into a three by one out of a two by two, I almost always recommend if you've got your play set up, you know, you're doing everything, you've got your play set up, whatever, as soon as they motion, just simply check into quarters. Just simply check into quarters, you're gonna audible. They're gonna obviously see that you audible, and then I would just drop one of your defensive linemen into a three rec. Quarters against these trips will do a relatively good job. The biggest thing that you've got to watch is that the line, the the running backs taken care of. But bottom line is, if they're two by two, I would recommend the cover three match style um, of this Mike Blitz, this this Mike Blitz three. And then if they go into a quarters look, or I'm sorry, a um, a trips look then I recommend going into quarters. Now you don't have to, it's just you have to be aware, like if they do that, let's say they do a route combo like this right here. If they use that motion, you see that these routes, see these zones do change, as you can see, but just, you know, be aware of that. Yeah, I mean, he still plays okay, but it's just something you need to be aware of. But anyways, that is um, a little bit of a toolkit for two by two spread. Uh, and really two by two, uh, anything for example if they if they motion in if they're if you're playing somebody that likes to motion a lot out of trips tight in 
this is the defense that I would recommend. You know, you can even, you see here how you can create the different yellow zones that you need based off of the situation. So if they run something like this Raven uh, HB seam, you see that the seam flat zone is gonna sit right where that, that wheel route is going. So anyways, a lot of really, really good stuff um, for you guys as far as two by two. This is a, a little place that I think you could get started. Another really cool little adjustment, I think, is to man these guys up on the outside guys because they're gonna have that leverage. And then as you'll see right here, like if they try to throw a curl route, you do have an opportunity to be able to play that. If they run a crossing route or something, you have inside leverage. So anyways, those are some tools against two by two spread. I would go ahead and just run that Mike Blitz three with the double curl, uh, double hook curls. Uh, and then obviously those deep blue zones adjustments to be able to get that to match. But this is something you can use to defend the two by two spread. Thanks for watching this video. And again, if you want to get this full ebook where we break down everything that you need to know about the nickel 335 defense, it's on sale right now for just $15 and it's in the description. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys later on on the stream.